In this session, we're going to look at opening HeavyM and then we're going to start looking at the interface. So if you have the trial version, every time you open it, you're going to get this 30 day trial um, icon pop up. Just click OK, click new project. It's going to think about it. It's going to load up a new HeavyM project for you to start working on. Great. So down here, we're just going to click new project. And there we go, new project's been selected. Click OK. Just make this a little bit bigger so we can um, see it all. Just drag that across there like that. And there we go, just drag it across up to the top. Right, as I mentioned earlier, this is the interface to Heavy M. So this is where you will do all of your wonderful projection mapping, where you'll test things out, you'll try new things, you'll make mistakes because we all do, you'll correct them, and then you'll project onto whatever surface you want to project onto. Right, let's have a look at the menu bar at the top. So if I select file, this gives me a couple of options here so I can create new project. I can create a new project from an example, which is the stuff we see at the beginning, and I can import media. In the edit, I've got the standard undo, redo in tools. So I've got a couple more settings so I can look at look at the tools mode. It gives me a couple of shortcuts for like the magnet or the grid or draw, for example. Um, I'm working on a PC, so mine is command and whatever the shortcut is. In the options, I can have sequence modes, I can display backgrounds, I can look at the background settings. Controls, I can create keyboard shortcuts, which we'll discuss, and have a MIDI interface or an OSC control, again, which we'll discuss later, that's slightly more advanced. In projection, I can have a full screen, I can have windows, customs, performance mode, click mode, and in the help is just the usual user manual type help that you get in any program. Right, let's start looking at the interface. So over here, I have my layers panel. So this is where I will start to build up different layers just by clicking the plus icon and I get a new group there. And if I click plus, it's telling me it's empty because I need to give it some media. But if I click plus, I can add media and I can hide it or uh, make it visible again, depending on what I've got going off in that panel. So that is where you'll add your layers, which you will then add your media to. Up here, um, I've got my toolbar. So if I go to the yellow section at the end, I have three. So I have the keyboard. This is where I can set keyboard shortcuts. And again, I'll let you have a play with that because we all have our different preferences. But it's just about creating a quicker way to map certain effects that you might use a lot or you might like. In this one, I've got my MIDI control. So I haven't got MIDI selected, but again, I can add shortcuts and I can map to a MIDI controller for certain effects that I might use a lot and I want to get quick access to. The next one is our projector. So I don't have a projector connected at the moment, but I get this windowed option, which if I click that, you'll see, and I click OK. That's my windowed option there. So it gives me a little box there which will um, show me my projection mapping as I start mapping it within the program. If I select full screen mode, again, I get a full screen mode within that. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the green section in the middle of our toolbar. This is where we will start creating our shapes and adding our projection mapping.